So we um, we used a known donor to have all three of the children, um, who is also a very good friend of ours. Um, his name's David. We were at another friend's wedding, and they had a photo booth, and Whitney and I had been talking about asking David, so we thought that would be a good opportunity to um, ask him. So we actually have this series of pictures of like just smiling, and then when we asked, and then a very sweet, loving after he said yes. David was already in their lives and had been in their lives really since the day they were born. Um, more in, I'd say, like a family friend, uncle role. Um, but they do spend time with him. They always have. The, his family is also very close with us, so we see his parents and his siblings on a pretty regular basis as well. And I've just really chosen to take the approach of they are an extended part of our family. And for sure, there are families who don't have a David who can't really point to, like, this is what it means to be a dad or have a father figure. And I, so I consider us really lucky. I think that would be so tough to not know what to say or do with that kind of holiday. We know somebody at some point sooner than we would like is going to say something to hurt their feelings. My kids have already heard it on the playground. Um, but they are so comfortable with themselves and their family dynamic. I think people... Um, focus so much on just their own father and instead of just highlighting the fact that there are a lot of really great fathers in the world um, in lots of different communities and just celebrating them for you know stepping up and doing the things mm -hmm. being the great dads that they are